Well, howdy everyone, Paul with you here today. I know it looks like spring in Spokane, look at that. No snow, it's sunny, and I think we're gonna get just dumped with snow starting tomorrow. <laughs> so, enjoying the weather while I can on my little hot rod. This little hot rod has four, yeah, 400. <laughs> 650 horse and a 750 torque. That's the final one, though. Anyways, boys, uh, the the topic of today's story or today's topic is why doesn't Paul use aftermarket systems for filtration? I mean, some of you guys are gonna scream, "Well, if the stock one works well. Why change it?" You know, quite frankly, that's not the reason why I don't use it. I'm always antsy to use different stuff and try stuff out, but. As a business owner, I need to keep things as standardized as possible. I don't think I've ever shared with you guys, but like my Ford has started running again. Well, as soon as I wore out the 13, or 13, my goodness, I cannot keep a thought together. As soon as I wore out my 16-inch uh, tires, I went out and bought 2018 rims just so I could have 18s on my Ford. Well, what if I have 18 and trims on my Ford, that means I'm gonna run the standard size of the Ram, and it's just a win-win. So, you wanna standardize everything as much as possible. So, quote unquote, you need tires. Well, they all, you know, they'll work. It's, keep your life as simple as possible. Well, that's the, <clears throat> that's the truth, you know? Cat came out with their, well, I don't think it's Cat that came out with it. Some diesel place came out with uh, a cat filtration kit. They piece something together, and it seems like it's a good idea, and it works great. But, quite frankly, boys, I, uh, <clears throat> like, let's say the 5th gen. I own the 5th gen because of the new engine. I own the 5th gen because of the new <clears throat> characteristics or the, the new parts under the hood. I care less about the sheet metal. You know, if it was up to me, I'd, well, not probably. For sure, I'd be still driving my 4th gen, my 14 Limited, and I was happy as happy could be. I'm not after all them. Uh, gadgets and everything and if I needed something I would have modified my truck and gotten what I need so that's that's not the big kicker I don't buy new trucks because I got to be the coolest dude on the block no I buy new stuff because I want to stay on top of things so it would contradict what I'm talking about here if I start <clears throat> start testing with all these aftermarket kits and you're gonna say gee Paul well why not if it's better well it's not for me it's not because a the stock system works. Man, seeing this Mustang reminds me of my GT350. It was a similar color. Oh, shoot. So, I need to keep things as standardized as possible. And the stock system works decent. Next thing is sometimes once in a blue moon. I think this is probably the second time it's happened to me in 10 years. Um, not very common, but guys will get a bad batch of fuel and their fuel filters get clogged up. No, and they weren't on 30,000 miles either, you know. I think one was like 6,000. The other one that just happened was on the 15 mark. So what do you do? You know, like the last one. He was out in the boonies. I mean, just outside of Bend, Oregon. I, I forgot what that little town's called. Good luck finding something aftermarket. I barely found something OEM. Had to, The guy had to spend the night there because they ordered the parts. Some kind of jiffy loop station ordered the parts overnight in the morning they put the factory filters in there and off he went now if it was aftermarket yeah good luck yeah i could <clears throat> here's the thing another thing is i mean you guys are full of ideas so am i i mean i could throw extra filters in all my trucks and all this shebang it's an option but no guys <clears throat> main reason i'm speaking to you business owners out there really consider that that's what i'm telling you keep things as standardized as possible well, obviously if it doesn't work change it up there's things that just don't work and you know let's just say i have the vp44 trucks you know yeah all the trucks would have gone uh, another lift pump and that ain't factory and i would use one lift pump across the whole board and call it a day kind of deal but that's it you know to answer all your questions hopefully we can put, put this one to rest why doesn't paul use aftermarket systems you know and i used cat because that was the one that was most appealing to me but i had to sling back and think about it does the stock one work yes or no why would i want to put my guys in a bad position well put myself in a bad position you know if my guys break down good luck finding the parts because these guys if they if they typed in your vin and ain't bringing up a part number they're 
they're panicking, you know, that's just ridiculous nowadays, some of the mechanics, some, not all, it's just some, but anyways, guys, on another note, <clears throat> I'm in a vehicle, I keep talking about my Ford GT350, I mean, it was accidental, same color, um, I just picked up a project, a Honda Prelude project, yes sir, Honda Prelude, I had a question for y'all, do you guys want to see automotive content on this channel, because, 2020 I told myself I'm gonna spend more time because 2019 I've I've rebuilt a lot of things So in 2020 I'm gonna build a well build. Yeah, I'm gonna start building another chapter I, I really want to spend more time on YouTube and and just backing off a little bit because my health isn't the greatest And with me backing off stress level should back off and Life should be a little bit easier on my body So part of that is me doing more YouTube I enjoy YouTube. I really do. I enjoy helping you guys, sharing with you guys. I enjoy building a brand. Um, yeah, that's all fun stuff for me. But anyways, in the comment section, let me know. Do you guys want to uh, see automotive content on this channel? And it's going to be along the lines of my diesel content. It's going to be a little bit different format. Um, but yeah. Or would you guys would rather just me leave my auto content on my auto channel? And I'll leave it in the description what that channel is. Heck, help me out. Go subscribe on that channel. I'll leave it in the description. It's PD Petrolhead. Anyways, that's it, boys. So, as far as the filter kit, I gave you, I feel like, a good reason why I don't want to run an aftermarket kit. Uh, biggest reason is standardizing my fleet. Uh, second thing is automotive content. You want to see it on this channel or you want to see it on another one? Let, let me know in the comment section. In the description, I will give you the other channels name so you guys could go out there check it out it's been pretty dead there ain't much going on there but this year i should be picking up the pace on automotive as well and yeah help me out either stick around and watch automotive here or go to that channel and subscribe um yeah it's just the way youtube is if you don't monetize yeah it's a few pennies on a dollar for us but if you don't monetize they have no go-go juice to push your to recommend your video that at least that's what it seems like so anyways i'm painting myself in the comment section let me know as always little guys may the lord bless you may the almighty fine day